just got home and like half the day has gone by. Completely forgot my camera back at home. So I'm really frustrated with myself right now. So I did just get back from the store and I bought a bunch of pants and actually I got this thing. A lot of you were suggesting I get a board, a penny nickel board. This was, I got it at the mall just now. I just came back. It actually cost me only $90. As a college student, you know, I got to save that money. I'm going to go somewhere nice to actually get a feel of the hills and everything. So I know the just the perfect spot for that. I don't believe that I made a proper intro to this video. So what's up guys, it's October 9th today. This is literally gonna be my first time on this thing. It has this really cool, simple design. It looks like a toy skateboard. Let me try it out. Why do securities always have to kill the fun? Almost lost my board right there. I don't know how Casey Neistat does it. So the actual main reason I got this board is because I'm doing so much walking around campus. I figured I'd get a board and make it a little bit easier. I think I'm ready for next level, which is uh, gonna be the college campus. All right, so if you've watched enough of my vlogs so far, you probably noticed all the drone footage. You might be thinking like, hey, that was pretty cool. Why wasn't there any drone footage, Eugene? Where'd it go? Well, the problem is my drone, which is right over here, is actually broken. So you might be asking like, what happened? Did you crash it? Did you burn it? No, actually the drone broke itself. Now as funny as that sounds, if I explain the story to you, you might believe me a little bit more. This drone right here no longer films the camera itself, no longer transmits the signal to the remote. So if you remember my last vlog, I was flying by the crane. <laughs> When I was mid-air flying by a building, I think, I don't know what happened, the transmission of the signal was lost and the camera got all glitchy. And so I flew it back so we could fly it back without actually seeing where it was by the camera. Now I got the drone back and I thought, it was probably because of interference in the city, so I kind of didn't make a big deal out of it. After that, I actually went on to that parking lot. That's trial number one. And after that, when I was actually filming that, the drone actually had no camera capabilities. But again, I thought it was just interference in the city. Because if you know anything about remotes and how they work, there's a lot of GPS signals and in the city especially, there's just so much Wi-Fi signals, all these different signals that are interfering with the GPS in the actual drone. But that's what I thought happened. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about right here, right now. Power it on. So that's exactly what happens. It looks like bad transmission. Like really glitchy and there's these pink. It's gone crazy. Let me just remind you guys that I flew here before. Like this is nothing new. But you can see there's no signal at all. I can't even record right now. So as you can see, it's not working and I can't really fly it anywhere. I've tried everything. I think people think I'm crazy. My neighbors, because I'm talking to the tree. It was on the tree right now. It's mounted on the tree, but. Now I did email DJI. I've been emailing back and forth over this whole weekend, but we're at this point where I have to ship it back to DJI. As of right now, my drone is broken and I'm not gonna have any drone footage for quite a little bit. But that's it for this vlog, guys. If you like this vlog, I know it's a little short. <laughs> Give it a like. Are you recording me? <laughs> if you like this video, what? Did she say something? There's no way to find What? Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I promise next time I won't forget my camera. But I'll see you guys in my next vlog. I'm really, really sad my drone is broken. I will see you in my next vlog. Peace. There I am, third page. That is so cool. Look. That's me right there. Here's the my Facebook profile picture. Here he goes more in depth. We had like a Q&A kind of session where he asked me different questions, you know, interview based style. Thanks for this interview, it was awesome. I got something for you. Look, go to the third page. I made the newspaper.